Hey guys, it's Mrs. Olt and I'm just here to show you how to sign up on Edpuzzle using the link through your email. So you should be receiving from me very shortly an email that says joining Edpuzzle instructions. So you'll open that up and in there I'll have the link to your class um, as you can see here. You're going to click on the link and sign up for an account as a student. You're going to use your school email and use a username and password you'll remember. And then just bookmark this site to your computer if you know how to do that, just so you can easily find it. So to sign up for it, you'll click on the link that's in there. Now, because I have an account already with Edpuzzle, it might take me here. But for you guys, you should see up here the don't have an account sign up and you're gonna click sign up with Edpuzzle. And it should automatically have my class here. If for some reason it says enter a class code, what you need to do is going back here, you're gonna notice at the end after the slash join, there's these letters here, that's your class quote. Is those, um, looks like seven letters afterwards. So that would be your class code if it asks you that. But it should just take here. And so then just type in some stuff here and then a password. And then it'll say join class. And then you can have your computer save it if you want. Then it's gonna take you in here and you'll see upcoming assignments. And it will show you all of the Edpuzzles that we're going to be doing. Edpuzzle is a pretty cool tool. It's gonna have a YouTube video. And you can see that none of these are more than about five minutes long that you have to watch. And it's gonna pause at certain points and ask you a multiple choice question. Um, so pretty easy to do. And so when you see that there's an Edpuzzle, I'll have a link to Edpuzzle. It'll take you to where you log in and it should automatically take you to your class and to your assignment and you'll complete the one for the day. So there you go, guys. That is how you sign up for Edpuzzle through your email. Hopefully that was very helpful.